Time we, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to uh, lunch. Uh, this is also the time for our business meeting to catch you up on all things SGA and that your board has done for you. Um, it's going to be a bit abbreviated, though, because we're um, trying to catch up on time. And so all board members, you are now relieved of any responsibility of having to give any sort of report during this lunch. Um, Everyone will just make sure to send out our business meeting agenda in an email to all the meeting attendees. So any of you who are curious to read through the business meeting reports, those will be made available to you. There are also printouts of all the business meeting reports on at least eight of these tables, but only eight of these tables. So if you're sitting at a lucky table, congratulations. Um, with that being said, um, I do have other things that um, I want to go through. Oh, actually, which reminds me. Um, Hold on a second, I'm gonna turn off my mic so I can run through something. Sorry, y'all. All right, sorry for that slight delay. Yay, technical difficulties and Kathy not thinking ahead. Um, I hope everyone has been enjoying the conference so far, catching up with colleagues and taking the opportunity to visit with our wonderful vendors who are upstairs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the business meeting to order just for meeting minute purposes. This is being recorded, right, Allison? Okay, good. Uh, for meeting minute purposes, it's 1249 that I'm calling it to order. Uh, thank you again to Allison, Leah, Jennifer, Ashley, and the program and local arrangements committee members for orchestrating all of what we are experiencing today. It was a lot of hard work and I will never stop recognizing that. In fact, if we could all just take a moment for a round of applause for local arrangements and program. Thank you. Uh, I mentioned we'll get the uh, agenda sent out to all of you, so you all will receive that link for reviewing the meeting reports. Um, and uh, also for our virtual attendees, y'all will um, get that link as well. Um, any questions or comments that you might have for virtual attendees, feel free to type them into the chat. Uh, and anyone here in the audience, if you wind up having any questions just from my general remarks, please feel free, or anyone who reviews the business meeting reports that we do have available, like you're welcome to ask questions at the end. Um, I'm going to kick off this meeting by reading out the mission and vision from our 2021 to 2025 strategic plan. Next, I'm just going to do a quick recap of some of the important work the board has accomplished this year and uh, make some announcements and then we'll be wrapped up. So the Society of Georgia Archivist vision is to inspire our world to recognize the vital role and value of archives and archivists in creating a just and enlightened society. Our mission statement is the Society of Georgia Archivists fosters and supports the archival community by advocating for professionals, collections, and repositories, encouraging diversity in the field, promoting education and professional development, and advancing scholarly research and innovation through the publication of provenance. And I do want to emphasize in the reading of our vision and mission statements that those are not just pretty words, but words that the SGA board is actively working to live up through through the work that we do. I encourage all of you to review our strategic plan and examine the goals we've outlined for our organization over the course of 2021 to 2025. I also welcome you to contact the board with any feedback or questions you have around any of the strategic plan goals. All the work that we do as a board is for you and your feedback and engagement is absolutely crucial to ensure that we are doing the work that you want us to do. So again, we are an open book. Please feel free to contact us with any questions, concerns, thoughts you have on things that SG, SGA could do to be helping you as an archivist. Speaking of goals, uh, of the ones that I had envisioned for this year, I achieved none of them. Uh, they, were, they were awesome goals, y'all. Sexy, I would even say. Uh, but uh, yep, it was what it was. Instead, we made really great progress on some decidedly non-sexy topics. However, again, I'm so proud of the many little things our board accomplished this year. And there, I think that they're going to contribute to more efficient administrative operations in the long run. And I hope increased member engagement with our organization. So here are some of the highlights. And this is cherry picked, admittedly, but definitely highlights I think that are worth the, the membership to hear. We no longer maintain a P.O. box. Uh, historically, management of the SGA P.O. box has proven to be a headache bordering on the edge of a migraine. 
Instead of a P.O. box, our treasurer will use either their personal mailing address or acquire a temporary P.O. box to ensure mailed checks, invoices, et cetera, continue being received in a timely manner. The address information is shared as part of the new membership application process, the renewal of membership process, and is shared as part of the payment process during the registration for any events, educational workshops, annual meeting, et cetera. In addition, our administrative assistant will continue to send out quarterly reminders to the listserv about the current mailing address so that members can remain informed and up to date. So we hope that the change in mailing procedures that was implemented this year has not represented a roadblock for any of you in the institutions that you work in. We hope that it's been working out. Um, if not, please email us and let us know otherwise, because um, we'd be happy to think about what needs to happen. In May, the board voted to approve a statement in opposition to the Protect Students First Act, which dealt with the issue of divisive concepts being taught in K through 12. This was a law that was signed, this was a bill that was signed into law by Governor Kemp on April 28, 2022. You can read the entirety of the statement on our website. It can be found under About SGA, Statements and Media. And a big thank you to Outreach Committee Chair Helen Thomas for pulling that statement together and everyone else who was involved on the outreach committee and other board members who got involved in helping to, to build the content for that statement. Myself and other board members were in discussion with the leadership of the Georgia Library Association this year about a potential joint meeting partnership with them in 2023. Some of you may recall a poll that went out to gauge the interest of SGA members in holding a joint meeting with GLA. We received some great feedback as part of that poll Unfortunately, we will be unable to partner with GLA next year for a joint meeting due to low recruitment for board leadership positions, but I hope that we'll be able to pick up the idea of some form of collaboration with the Georgia Library Association in the future. What that collaboration takes shape as remains to be seen, but um, you know, one of our goals as an organization is to continue to engage and, and build out collaboration with allied organizations here in the state of Georgia. So that is an important part, be it Georgia Library Association, the Georgia Association of Museums, or other allied library organizations here in the state. Regarding membership, this year we implemented a pay what you can model for prospective members to be able to name their own price so as to reap the benefits of SGA membership. We started this membership option late into the pandemic, but considering the unfortunate lasting power of the pandemic's impact, we'll be leaving the pay what you can model in place as an option for the foreseeable future. So if you have colleagues or know someone who has been considering joining, let them know that this option exists. And I, I, I can't underline that enough, y'all. Like, I'm really proud of the board implementing this pay what you can model and it allows prospective members to be able to set their price for joining SGA and that price might be zero dollars because maybe that's what they can literally afford to be able to become a member of our organization and if that's what it is then that's what we do and that person is now a member and able to reap the benefits of the engagement that happens on our listserv and being having reduced um payment fees for annual meeting um, attendance, educational workshops, et cetera. So I'm really proud of the board for um, implementing this pay what you can model. And I'm happy that we're continuing it into the, the coming year. Uh, so last but not least, I'm going to roll into just the announcements that I'd like to make. Um, so yeah, I think I can move on to the next slide, Allison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first, I'd like to recognize the incoming 2023 SGA board members in the following roles. And I'm, I'm going to make you stand when your name is called if you're here in person. I know it's embarrassing, but like, think like you're in elementary school again and you're being congratulated. So for president-elect vice president membership committee chair, Josh Kitchens, for our two nominating committee members, Laura Starrett and Alex McGee. For Assistant Mentoring Program Coordinator, Kate Daly. For Assistant Outreach Committee Chair, Rebecca Sherman. For Assistant Website Manager, Madison Mosley, who I believe is attending virtually, so 
I am I am clapping for you, Madison. Thank you. And for Georgia Archives Month subcommittee chair again, Emily Halavy. Oh, and last but not least, I had a bunch of scratched out text that I wasn't saying. Y'all, sorry. For scholarship committee chair Autumn Johnson. All right. Congratulations to you all. I said this ad nauseum, but I'll say it again. Know that your time and your commitment to SGA is appreciated and will continue to be appreciated. Uh, the next announcement, the David B. Gracie uh, Second Award for a superior contribution to our journal provenance has been awarded to Colin Post and Cassidy Hoff Mahoney, authors of The Pandemic at Home, learning from community-engaged COVID-19 documentation efforts in the Southeastern US, which was published in uh, the Provenance edition, latest one, volume 38, issue two. So a round of applause for Colin and Cassidy. Now to announce our 2022 scholarship awardees, who I made pretty slides for. Oh, thank you, LaToya. So our scholarships are such an important part of the work. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Um, such an important part of the work that SGA does and we're so happy to be able to offer a slew of scholarship opportunities to members and non-members alike. If you haven't applied for a scholarship in the past, I highly encourage you to look into them and to throw your name in the hat. The process is incredibly easy with the submission of a Google form being the heavy lift on the applicant's part. I'd like to recognize the following scholarship recipients for this year. And if you're here in person, again, I'm, I'll ask you to stand. Um, for the Brenda S. Banks Educational Workshop Scholarship, congratulations to Madison Mosley. Congratulations, Madison. For the Carol Hart Scholarship, congratulations to Camilla Stiegel, who is also virtual. Thank you, Camilla. For the Larry Gully Scholarship, congratulations to Nina Guzman. And for the Taronda Spencer Award, congratulations to Monet Lewis Timmons. Now, uh, again, I'm so proppy, happy and proud that we have all of our scholarship awardees that were able to benefit and so happy to have you be able to reap those benefits. Um, so yeah, with that being said, that transitions to our announcement for our next SGA fellow. And I'm actually going to pass the uh, virtual mic to Holly, who I believe is on the virtual end of this to be able to announce our SGA fellow. So Holly, you want to take it away? Sure do. So the Society of Georgia Archivists Fellows Award recognizes outstanding contributions to archives and archivists in Georgia. Every year, the nominating committee solicits nominations for SGA fellows in the spring. SGA members and past and current fellows are invited to submit one nomination per year. In selecting who will receive this award, the nominating committee gives special weight to archival activities that have a broad, long-term effect and may include, but are not restricted to the following criteria. Involvement and work in SGA, education, leadership, advocacy, and or scholarly activities, impact of the nominee's work on the Georgia archival community, demonstrated and enduring commitment to cultivating diverse and inclusive archival collections and or communities. The candidates' contributions will be measured by their broad distribution across all categories and or one exceptional contribution in one particular area. Additionally, nominees must have been a member of SGA for at least five years, but not necessarily consecutively. This year, the nominating committee received one nomination for an SGA fellow that stood out. The nomination submitted by current SGA fellow Nancy Davis Bray points out this SGA member's longstanding commitment to preserving Georgia's archival heritage and selfless leadership in our organization and others. From the nomination, Pamela Nye has been a member of SGA since 1996. She has served as the assistant newsletter editor, webmaster, annual meeting program committee member, internet corner, feature contributor to the SGA newsletter, first year director, 
Publications Committee Member, Second Year Director, Membership Committee Member, and Education Committee Member. Ms. Nye has been an active member of SAA since 1994, a member of the Georgia Records Association since 1997, a member of the Georgia Genealogical Society since 2008, a member of the Georgia chapter of the Association of Professional Genealogists since 2009, and a member of the Academy of Certified Archivists since 2005. She has served in various leadership capacities for most of those organizations. Ms. Nye is a volunteer archivist for the Duluth Historical Society. She has created policies and standard forms for the care and preservation of the Society's collections, Update and, updated and verified the Society's collection inventory, and assisted with exhibits. She is also a volunteer archivist on the History Archives Committee of the Girl Scouts of Greater Atlanta Council. She has managed the Council's archives move into a new headquarters, acted as primary liaison from the archives committee to the building architects and contractors, and continues to provide a more professional framework for the council's collections. She is a current member of the Marlboro College Alumni Council and serves on their archives team. She has received several awards from the Girl Scouts Council of Greater Atlanta, including the Volunteer of Excellence pin for her mentorship and her assistance with creating a new daisy troop the appreciation pin and recognition of her work managing the successful relocation of the council archives to a new facility. The president's award as a team member of the Duluth service unit and the outstanding leader award to recognize outstanding troop leadership in the delivery of Girl Scout programs to girls meriting recognition by geographic service teams. Indeed, Pamela Nye represents all of the many attributes that distinguish SGA fellows. It is both my pleasure and my honor to award the 2022 SGA Fellows Award to Pamela Nye. Right, thank you, Holly. Uh, and congratulations, Pamela. We could not ask for a better representative of SGA to fall into the fellows cohort. So welcome, we're so happy to have you as part of our, our fellows cohort. One last announcement, signups are now open for the 2023 SGA committees. Um, the link will be in the agenda um, that we sign up, but if anyone actually can capture that and wants to follow that tiny CC thing, CC link that'll take you to the Google form. Um, and just a few comments on that. Volunteers are the lifeblood of SGA events coming to fruition. Um, please consider signing up for a committee. It's a great way to become more involved in the organization while being a still relatively low demand time-wise. SGA benefits from the collective wisdom of its members. So please consider volunteering with one of our committees in 2023. If you enjoy advocacy work, the Outreach Committee or GAM subcommittee is the place for you. If you like supporting your fellow colleagues with making them aware of educational opportunities, uh, the Education Committee, Scholarship Committee, or Annual Meeting Program Committee is calling your name. And if you've ever benefited from one of the tours of archives, museums, or libraries put on by SGA and thought, I'd love to be a part of that planning, then the Membership Committee awaits you. And if you are a planner and delight in the logistics around making events happen, Local Arrangements Committee is here for you. And since time allows, I do want to say a few words of gratitude to all of you. So first off, thank you to all of the SGA board members. You have risen to every occasion and worked so very hard this year for this organization. Like I'm getting a little emotional. Um, I've said it before and I'll continue to say, there are not enough kudos in the world for all of you. If time allowed, I would call each of you out individually to sing the praises of the work you have done this year. So a round of applause for our SGA board. Uh, 
for all of you who volunteered on SGA's various committees this year, thank you truly for giving your time towards making this organization better. We couldn't do it without you. A round of applause for our volunteers on committees as well. And finally, a thank you to all of the meeting attendees here today. Whatever brought you here to the annual meeting, the educational opportunities, the networking opportunities, the beach, I'm, I'm happy you're here. I, I wrote in my president's welcome in the program booklet that we have something special here in Georgia with our community of archivists. I look forward to every opportunity SGA creates to allow me to engage with all of you, my fellow archivists, librarians, and information professionals. Without you, your engagement, and your enthusiasm for the profession, SGA is nothing. So thank you. As we get into the home stretch of 2022, I'm thankful to be passing the leadership of SGA over to Christina Zaman. Christina is an enthusiastic and passionate advocate for archives and archivists. And on a personal note, I also find her delightfully sarcastic and sardonic, two characteristics which I always enjoy finding in a fellow human. Her leadership as the head of special collections and archives at Georgia State is just one facet of her awesomeness in the archives profession. SGA is in good hands for 2023. I'd like to now present a gavel that I have on the floor. Christina, where are you? Oh, there you are, wonderful. Um, so I have this gavel to present to you as our ceremonial handing over. Um, I was told by friends that I didn't use my, utilize my gavel nearly enough to the extent I should have, because apparently gavel, so. I wish you many happy moments of Robert's Rules of Order with your gavel. And with that, this 2022 business meeting is officially adjourned. Thank you.